Welcome to Conversations Live. For more than a decade, we've brought you the best in books, entertainment, celebrity interviews, and current events. When the movers and shakers of the world have something to say to you, they say it to us first. Here's your host, Cyrus Webb. Welcome back, everyone, to Conversations Live. I'm your host, Cyrus Webb. Glad you all could join us once again. But for a radio audience tuning in to WYAD 94.1 FM and WYADonline.com, we're glad that you all could join us. Also, it's tuning in to our friends at iHeartRadio and Amazon Music Podcast. We got you all could join us as well. Well, I think all of us, as we've seen by the recent report that came out this week, all of us have definitely been impacted by inflation, definitely when it comes to going to stores. But a lot of times we don't think about those that are involved in the physical economy, those who help us to get the things that we need, like with delivery, food and beverage, oil and gas. If you're curious as to how inflation has impacted them and what they can do to be able to help prepare for these economic uncertainties we all face, we're excited about our next guest. We have Shoaib McConney joining us today. He's the CEO and co-founder of Motive. We're going to talk to him not only about the work that Motive does, but also the impact of inflation on those involved in the physical economy, but also where you all can go to learn more information as well. Shoaib, thank you so much for the time. Really appreciate it. Yeah, thanks for having me. So, so if th- this is an important conversation, I think, because inflation is something I think all of us now have learned a lot about over the past couple of years. So before we get into that, I want to ask you about the work you all do at Motive. Talk to our audience about exactly what Motive does and how technology is involved. Yeah. Uh, Motive builds technology to help businesses improve the safety and efficiency of their operations. Uh, we, as you noted, we serve industries like construction, transportation, logistics, oil and gas, uh, field service businesses, uh, and a whole lot more. Uh, and our, our customers uh, depend on us to track their vehicles and equipment, uh, to make sure that their drivers are driving safely with our AI dash cam, uh, to make sure that uh, they're not wasting fuel on the road with excess idling or excess speeding, uh, and, and a number of other kind of core problems that these types of businesses face. Uh, one, one of our products uh, that is you know, really impactful is, is the AI dash cam. It, it transforms road safety. It helps businesses uh, not just you know save on on costs, but actually uh, you know help prevent accidents and save lives. I think that's such an important. We're going to let our audience know where they can find out more. So, Shoaib, as we're talking about then how inflation has impacted these businesses, what did you all notice, especially when it came to the holiday season, about how the rise of inflation did have an impact on these businesses and as well as consumers? Yeah. So, so you know, our, our technology is installed in uh, something like 20% of the four hire trucks in North America. These are the uh, mm-hmm. trucks that carry freight for third parties. Uh, So we have a pretty representative view of the actual freight supply chain, the -the over-the-road supply chain in North America. Uh, And and there was really two major uh, trends that we observed in in 2022. Uh, Number one, uh, there was a delay in the actual uh, start of the holiday freight cycle uh, by about three weeks. It it was kind of shifted out to mid-November. And and then there was actually a decline in in consumer demand. Uh, There there was a reduction in total freight volume to to retail warehouses. Uh, and, And some of this can be explained by... Uh, reduce consumer demand uh, and, and higher prices. Uh, but, but actually, this is a, a somewhat healthy sign of the supply chain uh, and, 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 and is a positive prospect for 2023. Uh, and, and the reason for this is you've got businesses who had accumulated a lot of inventory at their warehouses uh, mm-hmm. because they, they were afraid they weren't going to be able to replenish. There was ser- significant delays in ocean freight. You had massive backups at uh, ports across America. Uh, and, and now uh, that's been relaxed. And so businesses are burning off that inventory uh, with the confidence that they can actually replenish it and, and uh, restock uh, without significant delay. Uh, and so while we've gone through some challenging times in 2022, I think 2023 is actually quite positive from a supply chain perspective uh, as it relates to the broader economy. And, and, and Shoaib, you brought up a really good point about businesses, and that's something that I saw locally in doing some local reporting for our audience here in my home state of Mississippi, and that is, of course, that a lot of times things were brought in early or they already had an excess, uh, maybe even from a previous season. Do you have any tips then for businesses to help them stay prepared for these economic uncertainties we've been seeing, especially when it comes to inflation? Yeah, Um Look, it, it, inflation is without a doubt impacting businesses across the physical economy. You're seeing uh, higher fuel prices, higher insurance costs, higher maintenance costs for these companies, uh, and, and and then also a constrained labor market. It's, it's actually really hard to hire drivers uh, and hire employees. Uh, and so uh, I, I think while we're turning the corner, we have seen a reduction in, in diesel fuel prices and insurance costs. 
Um, I think most importantly, the way to insulate yourself is to run an efficient operation. Uh, and, and, you know, the, the best way to do that is uh, through technology. Uh, you invest in technology that helps you understand the state of your operations to improve the safety of your operations, uh, which then actually uh, results in continuous cost savings. You get to realize those cost savings uh, over and over and over again. Uh, and so the ROI on, on connecting your vehicles and making sure that you know where every single one of them is is incredibly high. Uh, the ROI on uh, deploying an AI-powered dash cam in your vehicle so that you can make sure that your drivers are driving safely is incredibly high. Uh, another product that we have uh, that's really, I think, impactful is the Motive Card. It's it's the uh, really the industry-leading fuel card uh, to save money at the pump. Uh, so if you're a business, you can actually reduce your cost savings using our fuel card and our fuel efficiency technology by up to 10%. Uh, and, and that uh, is a you know deflationary force. It actually allows you to run more profitably uh, and, and pass on savings to, to your to your customers. Um, and then and then I think the other major place to invest to insulate yourself against inflation um, is to invest in your in your people. Uh, it is much much more expensive to replace someone uh, than to retain uh, your your best people and to and to train them and and, and to invest in them. Uh, and so I, I think it's a combination of tech plus people that. Uh, allows businesses to thrive uh, no matter what the economic environment is. Really good tips and great reminders for all as we're kind of navigating this new year. Again, everyone, Shoei McConney has been our guest, the CEO and co-founder of Motive. Talk with us not only about what Motive is doing using technology to be able to help those involved in the physical economy, but also the impact that has on us as consumers as well. Shoei, where can our audience go to be able to learn more and to find out more information? Yeah, you can go to gomotive.com to learn more about uh, the problems we solve. All right. Well, Shoei, thank you again for the time. Really appreciate you stopping by the broadcast today. Thank you much. Take care. Hey, you as well. And we thank your audience for tuning in to another great segment of Conversations Live. Until next time, I'm your host, Cyrus Webb. Thank as always. Enjoy your day. Enjoy your life. Enjoy your world. Thank you all for choosing Conversations Live. So let's go make today amazing. Take care.